Hello, I'm Kevin Burt, and I'm at the Samtech booth at DesignCon 2023. And today, I want to show you a proof of concept for an on-package or near-package direct drive electrical channel that gives us a 100 meter link at 112 gig. These links can be used in midboard optical and copper designs using Samtech flyover cable assemblies or mezzanine connector sets, or for full channel front panel and back panel cable applications. Let me show you what's going on here. A multi-lane pattern generator generates a 112 gig PAM4 signal, which travels through six inches of low loss coax cable to a Samtech Bullseye BE70A test point system. This board is made of Tachyon 100G. The signals then travel through another one inch of PACB trace to a Macom 4X 112 gig PAM4 laser driver which drives a Vixel that converts the electrical signal into optical. After traveling over 100 meters of OM4 fiber, it is received at a photodiode and Macom Transimpedance Amplifier, converting the signal back to electrical. This then travels to a second bullseye connector and back to the error detector. What do we see? So if we look at the screen, what we have is the bit error rate versus time. And so what you can see is we've got a bit error rate on two channels of better than 1e to the minus 7. And it's stable over time. We're not seeing any burst errors. We're not seeing any dribble errors. It's going to give the performance with forward error correction that the users are wanting in their system. There are many benefits to a linear direct drive. When compared to today's co-packaged solutions, it gives the NEM far more flexibility in their system. It allows the choice of cost-effective copper or high-performance optics, and it also allows differentiation of the type of optics used. This means that the correct optics can be chosen for the reach, resulting in both power and cost savings. And when compared to a traditional system with pluggable optics, linear direct drive systems eliminate read timers, which significantly reduce costs. As an example, a typical 32 QSF PDD port Ethernet switch containing 256 lanes could see a cost savings of up to $20,000. In both cases, optical transceiver DSPs are no longer necessary, which can reduce transceiver module cost by up to 50%. Since DSPs consume significant power, removing this need will also reduce the power and corresponding thermal load. Next-gen 112G active optical transceivers will consume 20 to 25 watts of power. Removing the DSP and supporting hardware could reduce the power required by 60% per module. So in addition to the cost savings, the reduction in power and heat results in improved reliability. If you want to learn more about this linear direct drive approach, contact the Samtech Signal Integrity Group at sig.samtech.com. I'm Kevin Burt and thanks for watching.